This has obviously had a lot of coverage over the last yeah. 24 hours. I don't want to talk about the US <laughs> running up a score because goal difference comes into play. That's fine. I don't think anyone can argue against some scoring goals at a World Cup. That's fine. But those celebrations, like in particular the one from Rapino, I think, and they made the point there, this is an experienced veteran. This isn't a first World Cup. It's not mm. a first World Cup goal. Yet she celebrates in that manner. Do you have a problem with it? You know, I think it's funny is that everyone rips on soccer for not scoring enough goals. And then when you finally do, everyone's slagging you because the way in which you celebrate that achievement. And I understand where people are coming from, but at the same time, this is a team that is continually criticized by former players, by the media, for not being relentless enough, for not being solid enough and clinical and ruthless enough in front of goal. That has been the biggest complaint about this side. So to me, it's, it's is, is it how I would celebrate? No. But also, I'm not the one who could ever score goals. So I don't know. I don't want to take away someone's personality traits and their characteristics because I'm worried about limiting that and being like, okay, don't celebrate because then what if that translates into how they play? That's a big jump, I know. And then the second thing is you can't do that in the men's game. I think that's the big argument. It's like in the men's game, you get your leg broken. Well, you're not going to get your leg broken against Thailand, right? But you would get your leg broken in the female game against a handful of other opponents. So I think... It's interesting to see had this been against another side and the goal started mounting mm. from 5 to 10, isn't, if they would have pulled that. Isn't that worse, Kate? How so? Well, because if they're thinking that, then they're just rubbing it in the noses even more. You know, you're saying, like, you're not going to get your leg broken against Thailand. Are you saying that if it was against France, they wouldn't be doing it? No, I'm saying so that... Men's game. I'm saying if it was a men's game. Someone's like, in the men, it wouldn't happen. And I'm like, I understand that, but against this opponent and against most of the opponents, you're never even considering the fact that you might get your leg broken. So that's just one comment I'm responding to to the numerous ones I've gotten on Twitter. Listen, I think every team is allowed to celebrate how they want to celebrate. I think the target on the United States is back. Here's the drawback. The target has always been there. They're trying to repeat as world champions. They're trying to do something they have never done, and the only team that has done it on the women's side is Germany. That target just got a lot bigger, and that margin for error has gotten a lot smar smaller. So if they lose, it, there's going to be lots of hashtags that say karma. What do you think? Um, it's unacceptable. I'm sorry. I, I understand... I understand if you score five goals. That, that's com completely different. That's the one thing I'm giving away. OK. You know, given all that. You score five goals in a game. Who does that? But I'm sorry, when you score the 12th goal and you go to the sidelines and you've got the whole bench giving it swaying right in the face of all the other, all the other players and even watch the coaching staff. I can't believe the coaching staff of Thailand didn't have something to say. And the fact that Jill Ellis, when the, Jill Ellis, when the 13th goal goes in, is giving all this and getting it... I mean, seriously, it's wrong. It's absolutely unacceptable in the men's game or the women's game. I mean, that is just, it's so disrespectful. Is it? Absolutely it is. Can you imagine you doing that? What, you would have got respect, your face smashed respect, down. And what respect should you have for Thailand because they're not as Professional good as respect. Opponent? Professional respect. Well, the professionalism is, is, is racking up a scoreline and, cel and celebrating at a World Cup. And for it to be called disgraceful is utter stupidity. How would you utter, think it's stupid? Utter. It's a disgrace. It's not if, a disgrace. If somebody had it's done not that a to disgrace. you, you'd have been the first was, one over there getting stuck there's into plenty them, of things the in this, There's plenty of things in this life that are disgraced. Over-celebrating of some state that way is not a disgrace. You may say... Totally it, unprofessional. You may say it is a little unsavory. <laughs> Classless. It is not Absolutely. a disgrace. Stop. A player, a player, a player, a player no. scoring at a World no. Cup is Stop. entitled to celebrate. And these Canadian women who talk about uh, Thailand holding their head high, well, after... And, and it's not their fault, but how can you hold your head high when you've been given such a pummeling? Cele celebrate, yes. Don't go over and rub it right in the face. That's all they did. They stuck it right there and said, there you go. Well, they stuck Take 13, 13 goals. They have no problem. I have no issue with anybody celebrating at a World Cup. And to call it disgraceful... It's a disgrace! It's an absolute no. worst. No! An absolute no. worst that is unsavoury. No, I'm, I'm sorry. No. You would have been the first person over there with a problem with Well, I tell you what, <laughs> if I'd been beat 13-0, I'd have been in the dressing room hanging my head. That's what I'd have been... Well, I'm sure you been would, been. but I think you... Right. You would be in the dressing room with sore knuckles as well. I haven't got an issue with players celebrating that they're scoring at a World Cup. It, it's, it comes around every few years. It's a big stage. Yes, they were way the superior team. They are, and there's, and there's a big difference between them. That's not a celebration. Let, the, the, let the women yes. enjoy the World yeah, Cup. Yeah, celebrate. I tell you what there is. I tell you what there is, and you're one of them. I tell you what there is. 
I've never met so many four uh, offended people who woke up this morning and said, <laughs> give me something to be yes. offended about. Yes. I've got nothing to be offended about. Oh, I'm offended oh, by No, no, no but here's the good thing. OK, so Why moving... Pull no. me into that. They're no. four offended. I'm telling no. you, if I was on the opposite side... OK, do you ever think would... about this, Stevie? Do you ever think about that the World Cup for the women and your notoriety and your presence on all the newspapers happens once every four years? And then you have this opportunity to play in it because you don't get the Premier League yet. You don't get that level game and that type of coverage. And all of a sudden, you wake up and everything is trending about the Women's World Cup. So if you are a fan of women's athletics, you are pumped Jeez, that women are getting covered. No. I don't care. It's, it's still 12, talking the games, point. The Guess what? Are you going to pay attention how the, the U.S. is going to do? The game is you, over. No, I guarantee you're going to wonder now how the U.S. is going to do in your stage six, and in knockout The telly stage. goes like that, by the way. As soon as you get to six, your the telly goes, goes like that. Mm. that that's an old-fashioned television that Stephen's done. <laughs> well. For more, sign up now. For ESPN Plus.